This is the Z-Sword. Huh. Now please try to remove it. To the best of my knowledge, no one has been able to remove this blade. So... I just need to pull it out, huh? Sounds like something out of a storybook. So... Uh... I'm supposed to pull out this Z-Sword, but then what happens? Legends say you will be imbued with immense power. Perhaps even enough power to destroy Majin Buu. What? <laughs> really? I guess that means this thing's pretty sharp. I'm kind of scared now. You can't remove the sword, so you have nothing to fear. Kibito, please be quiet. Gohan must concentrate. Please, Gohan, try to remove the sword. Huh. All right, here goes. It's no use. It won't budge. Alright, let's try this then. Super Saiyan? Well, I doubt that'll change anything. It's no use. Several Supreme Kais before you have tried and also failed to remove the blade. Why would a mere mortal succeed? Ah! Mm! Look, he did it! I... I can't believe it! I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase, okay? Goten and Trunks are both fine. But Gohan and Vegeta? They were killed by Majin Buu. Huh? <laughs> Gigi! Vegeta! No! He can't! Listen to me, people of Earth! I am using magic to speak to all of you telepathically. Now close your eyes. I have something I'd like to show you. My name is Bobbity, and I am a terrified and powerful wizard. And this here is my loyal servant, the even more frightening Margin Boo. What is this? Are, are, are you seeing this too? Uh, hey, what kind of freaky crap is this? I've run into a bit of trouble today, you see. And now I'm looking for three troublemakers. This one. This one. And this one. If I cannot find these three fools, <laughs> well, allow me to show you what will happen. All right, Martin Boo, do it! Hey! That monster! What has he done? I will warn you one more time. You must tell me where those three are. If you do not, we will exterminate every last one of you five days from now. I eagerly await your reports. Damn that bug-eyed bastard. So those are the guys that killed Vegeta and Gohan. We can't let there be any more casualties. I'm going to confront them. 
No! Think about it. If you die on us, there won't be anyone to teach Goten and Trunks how to fuse! We have the Dragon Balls. We can use them to repair any damage done and bring back anybody that's been killed! You get it? <sighs> Fine. Time for tears. If you want to avenge them, focus on learning this new technique. You got it? Let's get started. Everybody pay close attention. All right, time to learn how to fuse. People of Earth, I've just received some very interesting information. One of the three troublemakers I'm searching for, Trunks, supposedly lives at a place called Capsule Corporation in West City. I think we might head there next. For everyone's sake, he had better be there. I would show myself if I were you, Trunks. Your home won't be around much longer if you don't. Oh no! My grandpa and grandma are still at the house! Goku! Did you hear that just now? My mom and dad are done for! And so is West City, for that matter! It'll be fine, Bulma. We'll bring them back with the Dragon Balls. You don't get it! If my lab gets destroyed, so does the Dragon Radar! The radar requires special parts that you can't just get anywhere! Which means we won't be able to summon Shenron! What? That is a problem. All right, Trunks, hurry back home and try to find the Dragon Radar. Okay, I'll try to stall Bobbity and Majin Buu as long as I can. Are you sure? Aren't you just gonna get your butt kicked? Hmm, I can distract them for at least a little bit. Anyway, hurry before they get to West City! Man! West City's like a giant maze! I've got to find those guys, and fast! I hope I can buy Trunks enough time. Found them! Yeah! Yo! <laughs> it's you! Yeah, and I'm here to deliver a message. Listen up. The three people you're looking for are gonna show up sooner than you think. I can promise you that. Just wait a little longer! Don't destroy anything else or harm any more innocent people! Now why should we wait? Oh, you're up to something, aren't you? You bet we are. We're training to beat you guys. <laughs> beat us, you say? No amount of training could ever make that possible! We're not going to just sit here and wait. You will bring them to us now! You know, I kind of had a feeling you were going to say something like that. Which means I don't really have a choice. Guess I'm going to have to make you wait then. <laughs> Fascinating. Very well then, show us what you can do. Hey, Martin Boo! What are you doing? Hurry up and obliterate this fool! Okie dokie, Pokey! Come on! What's with that? Why is a strong guy like you taking orders from Bobbity? Hmm? Shut your mouth! I don't recall asking for your opinion! Martin Boo is my loyal servant. He obeys my every command. Hmm. What is your problem? Do you want me to seal you up again? If you seal Boo, you did! That guy kill you! <sighs> 
creature. When did he start to think for himself? But don't worry, Boo kill him! Boo don't like goody goodies like him! <sighs> Looks like it's do or die. That won't work. Vegeta tried the same thing, and look what happened to him. Good point. Then I guess I'd better kick it up a notch and go one step further. What do you think? What? This is a Super Saiyan. And this is a Super Saiyan level beyond that of Super Saiyan. Let's just call this... Super Saiyan 2. What a pathetic transformation! Nothing's different from the previous form! And this... This... is going even further! This... Is Super Saiyan 3! Sorry it took me so long. I'm still not used to this form just yet. You have scary face now! But Voodoo scared! Uh, yes, yes, precisely, you fool. Now march and Boo destroy this ruffian! Dragon Radar, and is leaving West City. Hey, why you leave? Who like fighting you? Who wants to fight more? I'm glad to hear that. Shame I don't have the time. I'm gonna be heading back now. Oh, we're not going to just let you get away. Crush him, Majin Buu! Don't forget what I said. The three you're looking for will show up soon, Bobbity, in two days. Do yourself a favor. Stay out of trouble and just wait a little longer. 
Stay strong? Those guys? <laughs> do you really think I'm going to do as you say? <sighs> this kind of stinks. I mean, I was really just beginning to enjoy my fight with Majin Buu. <laughs> he disappeared! Hey, he got away! This is your fault! You wasted too much time! Now go find him, you fool! Lord Bobby! Who had a good idea? What? A good idea? You can't speak now, can you? Now you know cast spell to seal Boo! <laughs> Boo learn a lot from you! But Boo no need you now! Here we go. Now that Bobbity's gone, nothing's preventing Majin Buu from going on a rampage. What's wrong, Goku? What's wrong is that I'm officially beat. Who knew transforming into Super Saiyan 3 would do such a number on my body? Won't be long now. I don't have much time left here. So until then, we have to make sure the kids perfect that fusion technique. Those two are the last chance this planet has. I... I got it! This is the Dragon Radar, right? All right. Look, we really don't have much time left. So do yourselves a favor and get ready, you two. Yes, sir! You're gonna need to be able to match one another's energy. But you can practice that later. First, we'll start with the hard part, so pay attention. For the fusion pose, you both have to mirror each other exactly. I'm gonna show you the pose now. So don't take your eyes off me, okay? First, you stand a little bit away from each other. Then, do this. Now, watch the angle of your arms. Phew! With your arms in opposite directions, you take three steps to get closer to each other. Jun? Then, you make fists with your hands. Watch the angle of your legs. Then, you bring your fingers together like this. And don't forget to extend your legs out really far like this, too. We have to do that? It's so lame. Yeah. To make things a little easier to follow, me and Piccolo are gonna model it for you, okay? What? Wait, we are? Just like this. You both have to move like you're each other's reflection in a mirror. Phew! Jean? Ah! All right, your turn. One, two. One, two. Goku, it's about time we take you back to the other world. Yeah, I know. Piccolo, it's up to you. Right. Goku, see you around. Well, uh, not really, but you know what I mean. Goodbye, Goku!
Come on, Chi-Chi, don't look so sad. You still got Goten, right? But, but what if he's killed by Majin Buu too? Don't worry. Once he masters this technique, Majin Buu won't stand a chance against him. If I see Gohan on the other side, I'll be sure to tell him you said hi. Okay. <gasps> I, I get the feeling that Gohan is still alive. I hope you're right. I really do. Yeah. Goku, we really must be going now. Right. <laughs> what is it, Goten? Uh, oh, I know. You want to give your dad a hug, don't you? Oh, is that what you want? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Goten, take good care of your mom. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 All right, everyone, I'm off. Look me up when you die. Man, I don't know how Goku can have such a carefree attitude, even about death. I trust that you can handle things on your own from here, yes? Right. Thanks, Granny. I wonder if Gohan's already made his way to Otherworld. Hmm? Huh? I don't believe it! Gohan! Yeah, that's his energy, all right. Huh. But how? Hmm. Where is he? Wait. It's not King Kai's place. No. There! What the hell is this place? He's here. Gohan's here! I can sense his energy! Where could he be? He's close. Hey! Huh? Huh, Dad! What what in the world are you wearing? Uh, what the, the the Supreme Kai uh, and that old timer? Wait, didn't he die? Uh dad, what are you doing here? About that. I see. So Majin Buu's already caused that much damage. So, that's the legendary sword you were talking about, I take it. That thing looks crazy sharp! You said it's the Z sword? Indeed. Let's test it out with some catch and tight. The hardest metal in the universe. <laughs> I bet this thing will cut through that stuff like a hot knife through butter. It's a legendary sword, right? Here goes. Yeah! No, no way. It broke. This can't be. The, the Z sword. It. But it's the ultimate sword. 
Well, Supreme Kai, you're the one who wanted to test it out on the hardest stuff around. But... but it was supposed to give its wielder the strongest power in the universe. <laughs> that shows how little you know, doesn't it? Huh? Wait, who's the old guy? Who are you calling an old guy? I'm the Supreme Kai from 15 generations before you! <laughs> 15 generations before me? The... the Supreme Kai? Many ages ago, a truly evil individual feared my special ability so much that he sealed me in that sword that you just broke. He doesn't look like he's got any special abilities. Just looks like an old geezer to me. Uh, yeah. Well, I never. I guess I won't tell you what my special ability is then. What? Come on! I, I was just kidding! <laughs> I'm still not telling you. I'll get a real woman to kiss you if you promise to tell us. Doesn't that sound nice? Are you serious? You're not pulling my leg? Yeah, I'm totally serious. I knew it. He's the same type as Master Roshi. So then, would this power of yours be enough to defeat Majin Buu? Well, I can't say for certain, but yes, it should be. Listen up, Gohan. I can't go back to Earth anymore. I need you to get Bulma up to speed and ask her to cooperate. Uh, wait, you want me to ask Bulma that? Look, we're saving the whole universe here. It's a good deal if you ask me. <sighs> Even if we do save the universe, Bulma's gonna kill us. Okay, wait, what kind of abilities are we talking about here? Right then, as for my special ability, I can release one's true power and raise it beyond its limits. <laughs> Never heard of an ability like that, have you? What? Seriously? That sounds like a pretty common ability, actually. Ah, how dare you! I said beyond one's limits! Far beyond! You there. You're the one who pulled the sword out, yes? Come here. Right then. Now just stand there and don't move a muscle. Uh, okay. And here we go. For the destruction of Majin Buu. <laughs> 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 hey! Hey! Ahem! <clears throat> go! Go! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Um, how long is this gonna take? The ritual takes five hours, but the power increase takes twenty! Huh? Uh, I'm gonna take a nap then. Hang in there, Gohan! Oh, man. A day was about to elapse since training began. Very good, you two. You've more or less perfected it. Think it might be time to see if you can actually pull it off. All right. First, match each other's energy. Uh, okay. Good. Now begin. Did it at least this time? 
In at least 30 minutes, we'll have you try it again as Super Saiyans. <laughs> Don't you think you're underestimating me? I've got what it takes to beat Majin Buu right now! You don't know the first thing about how strong Majin Buu is! There's absolutely no way you can beat him. Not just yet, anyway! So can we trust a little punk like this? In just one single day, the feared Majin Buu easily laid waste to roughly 80% of the planet's population. After turning some of his victims into clay, he constructed a house to come back to after his daily destruction. The people of Earth continued their fight for survival against the Majin menace and deployed their military forces. But that ultimately proved futile, with each force being completely decimated. Soon thereafter, humanity stopped trying. But hope was not completely lost among those remaining. They knew their savior was still alive somewhere and ready to spring into action. The man who overpowered Cell and became the world's, no, the universe's greatest warrior. That savior is none other than the legendary undefeated warrior World Martial Arts Champion, Mr. Satan. So that's Majin Buu's house, huh? Well, uh, I wonder if he's home. Uh, I hope he isn't. Not here. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Mozzie Boo? You chicken? Well, uh, that's that then. Uh, he's not here, uh, so I can't fight him. Uh, time to head back now. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hello. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Wait, wait, wait a second, uh, uh, Mr. Mazian Boo. You see, uh, I've come to see if there's anything I can do for you. <laughs> you want to be Boo's servant? Uh, yeah, of course I do. I've actually uh, uh, brought you a present, Mr. Mazian Boo. Here, it's some premium chocolate. <laughs> Take it. Chocolate! What? It means it's very expensive and super delicious. Hmm? Please work. <laughs> he ate it. He actually ate it. What an idiot. I put enough poison in that chocolate to kill an elephant. Thank you very much. Why, you? Don't get too cocky, Fatso. I'm gonna pound you into big putty for this. And so began a strange friendship between Majin Buu and Mr. Satan, with Mr. Satan working tirelessly to keep Majin Buu's mood under control. Several days later, well, welcome back. I'm still in the middle of preparing our meal. Hey, uh, wh what's that dog doing here? This guy no scared of Boo. He no run away. Boo no understand what he say. You know what he say? Oh, uh, well, 
I don't speak dog, but it looks like his leg's in real bad shape. That's why he didn't run away. Huh? Really? Well, okay. Boo hoo, you guys! Then get scared and run away! Uh. Now run away! Uh. Why he no run away? Boo hoo him! <laughs> well, look at that. He's just happy that you made him feel better. I think he likes you now, Mr. Boo. Like Boo? He like Boo? That's right. He likes you. Huh? He like you? You like Boo? Huh? Well, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Boo kinda happy. Well, uh, he, he actually does seem happy. Um, uh, <laughs> Mr. Boo, sir, uh, may I ask you something? Well, uh, why are you uh, killing people and, uh, and destroying their homes? Because Bibbity and Bobbity told Boo to do that! And, uh, who are they again? You know there, uh, Boo, uh, you shouldn't listen to bad guys like them. Y you see, uh, it's not good uh, to, to kill people and break things. You think Boo should not do that? Well, uh, yeah, uh, yes. Okay, Boo, stop! Huh? You, uh, won't kill people anymore? Yeah. And no more destruction? I did it! I actually did it! I really am a hero, aren't I? This is it, boss! This has got to be Majin Boo's house! What the hell are you shaking for? I told you, this is gonna be a piece of cake! After all, we've killed a whole bunch of people. What's one more? Well, yeah, but this guy's a margin. Listen up. Boo's killed so many people around the world that people will think anyone we've killed was killed by him. Let's do this! Why do you think Mr. Satan is hanging out with Martin Boo like that? <laughs> Who gives a crap? We'll just kill them both! Then we'll be the heroes! What are you talking about? You run away now! No, okay! <laughs> oh, what's going on? Unable to be contained any longer, 
the evil within Majin Buu came bellowing out and formed into another Majin Buu. The one singular Majin Buu now stood divided, split between his innocent side and his evil side. Rendered weaker from the split, the original Majin Buu stood no chance against his evil counterpart and was ultimately absorbed by him. He still remembers me! While Goten and Trunks entered the final stages of their fusion training, Piccolo and Dende kept a watchful eye over Majin Buu and Mr. Satan. Unbelievable! Hey, uh, what's going on, Piccolo? Don't you feel the change in Majin Buu's energy? That monster's changed. It's all because of that brain-dead Earthling. Now Boo's pure evil, not to mention even stronger than before. <gasps> no, we aren't safe here. Majin Boo now has the power to sense our energies. want us to show you show me the guy to fight you promised me a fight he must be here i could feel a very large power uh, we do have people here to fight you but they're sleeping right now they're gearing up for their fight with you wake them up i hate waiting <sighs> damn it we're out of options we have to sacrifice the remaining survivors. Wish them back with the Dragon Balls. It's the only way we can stall Majin Buu. Th that's right. You did say you were going to kill everyone on Earth, right? There are still plenty of people left to kill. Take care of them first. Then you can fight. Hmm.
I killed everyone on Earth. Now I can fight. Show me the guys to fight! Fine. I'll show you. But you're going to have to wait. They've been sleeping, and they need to get ready. No! Mr. Satan's daughter here wants you to wait as well. <sighs> really? You're right. She smells like Satan. Okay, I'll wait, but only a little. Go wake up Trunks and Goten and get them into the hyperbolic time chamber, now! Might not be much, but they could still get a few days of training in. Uh, right. Piccolo was able to buy Goten and Trunks time to train, but Majin Buu's patience was finally wearing thin. Piccolo had no choice but to escort the irritated Majin Buu to the hyperbolic time chamber. Here it is. You took a long time getting here! Hopefully I stalled him long enough. One minute out here is six hours in there. They should have been able to get a week's training done. Hopefully. Ta-da! Boom! We've been, been waiting, waiting for ya! Imagine, Bill! Hmm. Is that them? Yes! Please, let this work. Right now, we need a miracle. Let's do it! Okay! Phew! even after fusing.
longer fight! You all right? You got any more powerful attacks? <laughs> you bet I do. You just wait. But I kind of want to scare Piccolo a bit. That'd be more exciting. It's no use! I, I don't have enough energy to pull off any more of my awesome moves. It's all over now! This world is as good as gone! <laughs> what? It's the end of the line for you, Majin Buu! Because I just completely destroyed the only thing connecting this place to the world outside of it! All of us are now trapped in here for the rest of our lives. What? <clears throat> the only thing you can do is kill us and spend an eternity all by yourself. In this vast and empty space. Why? What about my... <clears throat> favorite sweets? No sweets here. None. What gives, Piccolo? Why didn't you tell me you were gonna do that? I was planning on using my super awesome move and stuff. Wh hey! You said you didn't have any of your power left. I was acting, you know, to make things a little more dramatic. Idiot! J why make things more dramatic at a time like this? Hurry up and fix the entrance, you stupid green party pooper! I can't fix it! You cocky little spoiled brat! I hate this place! Piccolo, what's that? I don't believe it! How did he... He used his massive energy to rip a hole between dimensions. No! It's gone! What, what was that noise just now? Lucky! Oh! Majin Buu! This is perfect. I was just getting hungry. What should I turn you into? I know chocolate! It's no use. We can't even open a tiny hole. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna have to use it after all. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Take a guess. Ta-da! you just do? Beats the hell out of me! But I do know I'm super duper strong now! Anyway, we got more important things to do now, right? Huh? 
Yo, 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 Majin Buu! Look who's back and ready to party! Huh? You look different. You moron! It's not just my looks that are different. I'm also way, 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 way stronger than before. <clears throat> you tell me what you did to everyone here right now. <laughs> They're here. <gasps> you, you, you ate them? Turn them into chocolate! I am so pissed off now! Yeah! 